camper and do like an early sump. There's one right there. <laughs> oh yeah, real nice fat one. Look at that one, man. Look at that. Big spring walleye, shallow water. We'll let that guy go. Wow. Now she's rolling. All right. We got power to that. We should have audio. We got the other camera going. What is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. Got good buddies Matt and Robin out in the boat today, and uh, we found some open water, and we're not on a river system today, finally. I'm gonna throw the trolling motor down real quick so we can potentially get to work here, but we are out on Lake Michigan today, and as the wind's picked up, and it slowly, slowly warms up, essentially, there's starting to be a little bit of open water out here that's fishable, which is always a good thing. But I'm actually in town for a seminar down in the Appleton Fleet Farm store. And maybe for this one, every seminar, I'm kind of traveling the Midwest, doing a lot of different seminars. So let's attach a list to the bottom of this post, which all the dates that I have right now and links to those. Because they've been selling out so fast, then you guys comment, then I feel bad that you guys can't get tickets. So we'll attach that down below. But we're out here in the bay, and hopefully we're gonna catch some big walleyes, huh? We're hoping so. So uh, we might start out with some hair jigs. We might start out with some other stuff. We'll see, but in town for a seminar, and you guys know me, had to at least try to get out and catch some fish. So stay tuned. We got probably got to troll motor around, find some fish. Hopefully start catching some fish. Maybe we'll start with a few different baits, see what happens. I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna start out with the hair jig. And as you guys know, if you guys watched a lot of my content previously this season, this open water season, this thing has absolutely been on fire. Kalen's rattling Google eye hair jig right there. So we'll start out with that color right there. I'll link the bait down below. If you can get your hands on some of these, you're gonna wanna do it. Cause since they've just been such a hot bait this spring that they've been in just crazy high demand everywhere, which is kind of what happens when you get a bait that's just crushing fish everywhere you're going. Um, but that's kind of what we're gonna start out with. We're really fishing relatively shallow. You know, a lot of times when you're fishing this way, you want kind of a light, wispy presentation. Water's super cold, just opened up. You're generally dealing with a little bit clearer water, and those fish are just kind of neutral, tentative, and a lot of times a bait like a hair jig like this, something just kind of wispy that you're just kind of pulling and hopping close to the bottom is kind of that perfect presentation. So we'll give it a roll and see what happens. On. Oh, fish number one, baby. Boy, they're just like mouth. Looks like a nice fish. Yeah. You're feeling a couple of like maybe bites, you know, where you like you pull up and there's a little bit of sponge weight there, and you're like, is that really a fish? But uh, we're obviously around a few, huh? Oh, look at that. And that's kind of the importance of putting that little stinger on, huh? No doubt about it. Just tied in a quick little stinger on the old. Matt's got purple white on, obviously always a good springtime color. Or any, anytime you're kind of fishing this little bit of clear, little bit of colored up water, show them off. There we go. The hope is obviously down here on this location that we hope we get some stud daddies, right? Which I'm sure we will at some point, but you gotta start somewhere. There's a start. We've been fishing for, what's a GoPro say? 16 minutes. So it looks all right. I think we just gotta kinda, a lot of times when you're on these lakes for like the first time, and the ice just went, you'll have some water that's like really cold. And then a lot of times you end up looking for water that's got a little bit of color to it. And a lot of times that water is just a touch warmer. So we're gonna do a little drift in here, see if we drift into it. And if we don't, we'll just start the big motor up and hunt some stuff down. Holy cow, he's, he's on fire up here. I don't know if you guys are seeing the hook sets on the front camera or not, but it's all good. Oh, that's a little better one, huh? Look at that guy. Man, that is what we're after right there. And we're all throwing hair jigs now. We have all... Yeah, mine's not purple brown. Purple brown? Oh, that's a nice fish right there, isn't it? <laughs> that's a big fish. We'll take them, we'll take them. Let's show you guys that one. That is the big fat females in which we're after. That one ate it good. There's probably no question on that one. Yeah, it just goes thump. Yep. Yeah. And on. We'll get the hook out. Well, maybe we'll show you guys the fish. You want me to hold them or you want me to show them yeah, off? Yeah, you show them off. 
So. Look at that right there, man. That is what we're after. Big, fat, tall, chunky pre-spawn walleyes. And they're chomping hair jigs. I mean, how does a day really get much better than that right there? Let's let you go, fat girl, and get back again. Right there. Fish on. Just barely, barely felt that one pick it up. Feeling all right, feeling all right. Oh yeah, nice fish. And it's so much fun fighting these things in shallow water. Cause they have nowhere to go but to pull hard. And that one just, you could barely feel as that bait was coming down, just kind of just kissed it. I'll bring them right over here. Another super nice fish. They're all good ones when you're fishing in March. I'll grab a hold of you here, buddy. He got it good. He was not playing around. I think we all have different colors of jigs on, don't we? Yep, we do. Oh, per, they're all got a touch of purple in it, which, if you guys know me, I like my purples. There we go. Perfect walleye right there on the hair jig. I'll let that guy go real quick. Putting it together. Not crazy, crazy fast yet, but I mean, we've probably been out here for 45 minutes now or something like that. And putting a few of them in a boat, just kind of running these big flats. And I will say this, it's nice not being in a river for once where every, you know, a ton of boats, everybody's jam packed together, plenty of room to move around out here and it feels good. All right guys, so one thing you can kind of do, you know, obviously we're kind of running back around right now to do another pass on an area where we saw some fish. So we're doing these big drifts. But one thing that's important is, I'll kind of show you guys the graph here, is to kind of waypoint out where you're catching and seeing the most fish. Now a couple things jump out at you. One, it seemed to be right along this break line right here. Like tight and into that. You can see we got waypoint there, waypoint there, and waypoint out here. And because of that, we're just going to keep drifting that area. As we're kind of drifting around, getting shallow, getting deep. You know, when we see the best looking stuff, we're dropping a waypoint and then kind of trying to drift through all those waypoints on the way back down. And it helps to kind of make sense of it all. So you're not just feeling like you're just drifting through the abyss, letting the wind take you wherever the wind takes you. Pay attention to where you're catching fish, where you're seeing the most fish. And then a lot of times you can, what you can end up doing is we ended up starting out doing a drift that was like a mile long. We only caught a few fish kind of right in that smaller area. So now what we're gonna do is just drift that smaller area instead of just do these huge passes to catch a few fish again. So that's kind of the plan. We'll get back in this kind of sweet spot where we saw the most life, see if we can't put a few in the boat. It, huh? There we go, boys. That felt there good. we go. <laughs> that felt real oh, it's, good. it's a good one. It's a good one. I'm gonna put a waypoint just for that intensity of that hook set. <laughs> that was awesome. That would surprise me. <laughs> oh, we're getting them. There's not much else to really say right now, and it's a good time. Another super solid fish, man. On that stinger, though. On that stinger hook. There we go. Old white and purple, wrecking it. Why don't you grab that one? Here, let me grab this off. Once you get them unhooked. There we go. Tough to beat, huh? Beautiful. Can't Just complain about chill. those. Yeah. Just chubby, man. <laughs> it feels good, doesn't it? Oh, so good. Spring is here. You guys might not be able to tell by like all that snow on the shoreline over there. We'll see if we can get it to focus. <laughs> Snow and ice floating around. Hey, we're catching fish. Catching walleyes, love it. Let me just get a little, uh... Oh, man, we're doubled up. Robin's got one on. Go ahead and release that one, man. I'm gonna set up for... Well, alrighty. When it's on, it's on. Hey. And we are definitely in some fish right now. These are those little kind of wolf packs to keep an eye out for where they're at. Obviously, waypoint him down. How's he feel? Staying down good. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, they're just they're just all nice, fat, chunky fish, and nothing to complain about. There we go. We'll pop them off here quick. This is the first day in the lake, out in an actual open body water with the new boat. 
very impressed with how it runs in a little bit of chop like this obviously not super windy out but there we go it's up to beat good work nice nice spring fat chunkers man and there is something to be said about hair jigs in this time frame i've seen a lot of days where it's like just for some reason that super subtle floatiness to it is just flat out what they want and that one actually all three of these purple colors have been on fire so far today so let's catch another one on it <laughs> all right we we're just talking to these guys they're they're doing some trolling we're talking about some loyal followers over here some loyal youtube viewers i don't know if you guys could see maybe we'll do a crazy zoom they're hooked up though we'll pan back in any guys when they when they get it in <laughs> hold it up to me in a second all right we're really gonna put the pressure on them here maddie b to land this fish we're gonna do some crazy zoom so they just pulled the board off we'll give you guys a play-by-play -play here looks like they're pulling it in looks like a decent fish scoop there it is <laughs> good work <laughs> oh man i love it Yep, right there. Ooh, baby. Fish out. Robin just said, you just had one bump it, and I had one actually get a hook in them. A lot of these fish, even with the stingers on, are not all getting hooked. Nice fish here, nice fish here. And we are having some fun now. It's nice enough out where you're not constantly worried about the, and watch how this fish is hooked. Oh! <laughs> Or lack of hooked. I mean, they're not like eating it super good. I mean, obviously some of them are getting it in the mouth, but a lot of them are just kissing that thing, man, on that back hook. And that is why it's so important a lot of times to have that in really cold water like this. Now, you might be able to come out here like right at dark in that last hour of the day and just, they'll just start choking baits and thumping them hard on the fall. But, you know, a lot of these fish during the day, they're just so kind of neutral, negative, floaty. That's why a lot of times having a bait that doesn't really do a lot in the water is better off and that's that's what we're doing the damage on right there all right guys so obviously we're having a pretty solid little outing here today I'm catching a bunch of these fish but obviously we're out here on you know lake michigan but really whatever lake you're on could be you know a really big lake and a lot of times you see this more in some of your bigger systems now this could be a lake that you know, it's 6,000 acres. It could be a lake that's huge like this where you're fishing a great lake system. But one thing that's unbelievably important in the spring, especially this time, very early time frame, is the water temperature. You're, what you're seeing on the graph is not really that important. It's not important that, you know, you're looking for that magic hump. You're looking for that magic piece of structure. The water temp is the structure and it fluctuates a lot on a lot of these bigger lakes. So that's kind of the utmost important part. And obviously warm water, warm water is the key to that equation. But we just filmed a little part and kind of how I like to go break down a lot of this, find the warm water, look for fish and kind of showing that major difference in temperature and just how much better, how much better the graph looks when you're in that warmer water. And we uploaded that to the walleye now side of things. So um, figured, you know, there's a lot of talk about shallow structure. There's a lot of talk about all these different pieces of structure you can fish this time of year, but there's really none more important than finding this warm water and showing you guys how, how much of a you know contrast that can be from the colder water to the warmer water so did a great walkthrough for that on the walleye now app click on early spring once you're on the app and then click on lake and that thumbnail looks something like this a great walkthrough on kind of how i go about finding that warmer water and how you guys can come out replicate it and get on a bunch of fish like this too obviously important too to be ahead of you know like if we do the if we're gonna do like an early summer there's one right there. <laughs> Picked it up off bottom. Sometimes when they do that, they almost surprise you a little bit. This one's feeling angry like they all have been. And you know, when they're hooking it, a lot of them on that trailer, you kind of just fight them real soft. We got probably a nice fish here. Oh, baby, pulling some drag. I like it, I like it. Oh yeah, real nice fat one. Look at that one, man. That's a nice fish right there. <laughs> Let's go. Bang. We'll take them like that. Bang. We'll take them like that, man. That's the bite you're waiting for. We were waiting on that that big bite. 
and we got it. Well, I'll get this guy popped off and give you guys a look. That is absolutely what we're after right there. All right, guys, look at that. Big spring walleye, shallow water, doesn't get much better. Look at this kind of stubby tail thing he's got going on. It's kind of interesting, but what a tank, man. And these fish are out here and ready to be caught now. And it feels good. Fun little bit morning, kind of midday on the water. We're putting a pile of them in a boat. Let's let that guy go. Good as it gets, man, right there. We'll take it like that and look at just a handful. See you later, big mama. Back she goes to do her thing in a few weeks, but feels good putting it together, catching a pile of these fish on these hair jigs, super shallow water. Simple and super fun pattern. That's, That's looking fish. really good actually, That's isn't it? Really good fish, I think. Come on. Is it the one? Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, I like it. <laughs> on the stinger. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is a balloon, man. <laughs> Look how he's hooked, too. I mean, just oh, yeah. barely tagged on that back hook. It probably sounds like a broken record because we've been saying this all day so far. And I was literally just kind of starting to clean the boat up a little bit. Look at that, man. Beauty. How's it get any better? No, it does not. <laughs> Big, fat stud spring walleyes, dude. Snapping hair in cold water. Doesn't get any better. Snapping the cold water hair. We'll let that guy go. Wow. Oh man, it's as good as it gets, dude. Awesome, thank you. All right guys, well that is gonna do it for today's video. Fun little outing, first time out on the lake this year, and it feels good to pile up a whole bunch of fish. Got a whole bunch of nice walleyes on the hair jigs today, like I said, I'll link those down below. If you can find them, get your hands on them. They're on high demand, because everybody who has them is catching fish on them, it sounds like. So, um, like I said, link down below. But we're gonna wrap it up here. I actually have a seminar today, um, about an hour away from here, so we're actually headed there now uh, to talk to a whole bunch of you guys. And also, like I said, I'll link all the seminar information that I have, dates, times, and everything like that down below in this. Try to get it all in one spot for now. Um, and I enjoy seeing you guys out on the road as we're fishing and traveling and all that kind of stuff. So appreciate you guys watching this one. It was a lot of fun to make. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time. <laughs>